Holy smokes, iOS 26 is finally here and we have entered a new era, the next decade of design for all of Apple's software, all their operating systems all at once unified with this brand new liquid glass, beautiful design, which looks so great, but I can't help but think that there is something missing. Actually, two things that were missing. First of all, a lot of talk about Apple intelligence, which I'll get into, and some leaked features that were supposed to come today, but they did not. But before I go in depth explaining what I'm talking about, I first wanna give you guys a rundown of all of the best features that Apple just announced for iOS 26. First of all, I absolutely love this brand new full screen design where there's no longer sections that are covering up the media in the background. Now it looks so nice. Even everything behind the buttons and the on-screen element, you can kind of see through. So it gives you this new level of immersivity that we've never had before. I mean, this is the biggest redesign since iOS 7. I absolutely love the new lock screen. I love that the buttons are transparent, how everything just looks so good. I love that the time dynamically adjusts to the different wallpapers that you have. Everything just looks and feels so nice, especially the notifications, they look amazing. Now, I know there's a lot of people online complaining that it just became very hard to read text with all of this translucent glass, but for me, I love it. The new camera app is now streamlined, simplified, showing just two tabs on the bottom, photo and video. No more trying to swipe left and right a bunch of times trying to find the thing that you're looking for, just choose between the two, which makes it so much easier and simpler to use. The Photos app is now redesigned to be more simple. I know a lot of people complain about the iOS 18 Photos app with everything just being so hard to find what you like and what you want. But Safari, I mean, web browsing looks so much better, showing you the entire page, all of the media, no longer having those elements and stuff just kind of block your view, it just looks so nice. The new call screening feature is absolutely genius because whenever I get an unknown call, I literally just let it ring and hope to give me a voicemail because I don't know who it is. Now it finally fixes it so that when you get a call from an unknown number, it's gonna let them give you a message so you can see it before it rings and that way you know if you gotta pick it up or not, which is genius. Same thing with hold assist. I mean, that is a lifesaver. Imagine being on hold for like 30 minutes just waiting, listening to terrible music. Now you don't have to it's gonna keep your spot in line and give you a call when it's ready to go. And finally, we have an awesome update for visual intelligence where you can take a screenshot and hit that little search button. It'll search the web for that item and you can find it, buy it, which is just awesome. And now with those awesome features out of the way, let's get into what is missing from this year's WWDC. And the first thing is that I feel like all of these changes and redesigns that Apple just made were destined for something that could not be shown off until later. Specifically, this right here. This is the iPhone 17 Air, and it's basically what I imagine this new liquid glass design was meant for. I believe that Apple revealed all of that and they destined it for this, to have this light and airy feel in your hand in a very fresh and light and airy translucent iOS redesign all built together, specifically because there were features that were leaked that did not get revealed today because Apple is saving those for this phone in September. The big one you're all thinking about is battery intelligence. Yes, Apple has been rumored to be working on a new feature that uses Apple intelligence and AI algorithms to kind of see your patterns of charging and battery usage and dynamically adjust your battery life to essentially help this thing get great battery life even though it's insanely thin with a small battery. Now with those upcoming battery management features as well as a beautiful redesign in iOS 26, it's the perfect time to upgrade your accessories like these two products from our sponsor ESR, which are both fully prepared for the upcoming iPhone 17 series. 
the three-in-one magnetic charging station, and this classic hybrid case, which features a capacitive camera control button that protects the original button that costs $749 to replace. But with this case, you don't have to worry about it anymore while giving you 11 foot drop protection thanks to the air guard corners and the camera guard, which doubles as a stand while letting you use MagSafe accessories and super powerful 1500G magnets to keep all your accessories secure. And with that, this three-in-one magnetic charging station is great for quickly charging your iPhone wirelessly with 15 watt fast charging, letting your iPhone 16 Pro Max fully charge in under two hours compared to others out there that still use 7.5 watts. And the best part is that it comes with a patented CryoBoost technology, which uses fans and heat dissipating coils that keep your phone cool. On top of that, you have Apple Watch and AirPods chargers built in so you can charge all three devices at once. So go ahead and check out the case and CryoBoost charger using the links down in the description and pinned comment below. Now jumping back to the iPhone 17 Air, the whole time I was watching this WWDC event with this new liquid glass redesign, I knew, I knew that Apple destined all of that for this. People are gonna buy this and feel that brand new iOS 26 software for the first time and their mind is gonna be blown. I mean, that software, that new design is gonna be there for the next decade. Everybody's gonna get used to it, even though some people online right now feel really weird about it. They think it's kind of hard to read. It might not look that good. It's totally something new, but imagine a couple of years from now, it's gonna be so normalized, standardized. Everyone is gonna love it and I bet you, all of those other Android phone makers are gonna follow in Apple's footsteps because it's gonna look so fresh, so immersive. But it does not end there because I believe this new software design was destined for a new iPhone that's coming in a couple of years. Apple's 20th anniversary iPhone where for the first time ever, they're going to have an all screen display with no cutouts whatsoever and glass that curves over the edge. It's gonna look like a slab of glass. And the only way to make this feel and look amazing is with the new iOS 26 glass-like redesign, liquid glass. That is why Apple made it and they're releasing it now sort of as a beta test to make sure they fix all the problems and make it work incredibly well before that new model comes. The second thing that I believe was missing from this event was Apple admitting that they messed up with Apple intelligence. All they did was give us this new redesign which kind of distracted everybody from last year's WWDC where they announced Apple intelligence and it was a major flop, it was a fail. During this event, they also focused a lot on the word chat GPT. So instead of just having everything rely on Apple intelligence like it's the best thing ever, they're actually kind of humbling themselves and saying, yeah, we got ChatGPT better integration than we did last year in case you want it to basically admit that yes, our Apple intelligence isn't the best, but we have other options for you. Now, I was really missing Gemini integration. I was hoping for that because there were some rumors, but we basically got nothing about that at all. So hopefully that comes in the future. I was really waiting for that, but no, it looks like they're confident in their own abilities and their own Apple intelligence to kind of fix it over the next year and make our features better. But let me know your favorite things that were revealed at WWDC down in the comment section below and definitely subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.